Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello. Uh, here, let me let me hear myself okay. I'm just gonna lower that my end a little. <laughs> oh, how's it going, folks? It's good to see you all here. Thanks for the well wishes. I'm feeling okay. Jesus. Um. So, so don't worry too much, okay? I've been taking a lot of time off. I wanted the chance to stream this weekend. Um, just because I really miss doing it, and it's been a kind of shit week. <laughs> it's been quite depressing. <laughs> but I'm feeling okay. Uh, how's it going, though? You're all very welcome. I'm feeling good. Um, just so you know for the record, health-wise, right? Let's, let's get that out of the way. I know some of you, like, you haven't heard the news, you didn't see my Twitter, you didn't see my Discord, that's okay. I got COVID, but I'm triple vaccinated, and I've been isolating pretty much the entire week. Um, well, no, I have. Uh, I've unfortunately had some rough symptoms of it. I sweat it for, like, three days straight, which was not fun. I would not recommend that to anyone. Um, but since that, I've actually been kind of on the, med the mend and just better every day in general, which has been really good. My voice might sound a little off. Um, if it does, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know, uh, uh, like, my throat's been kind of through it. Uh, I have been getting plenty of rest, though, so don't worry. Uh, today's stream is potentially a short one, too, because uh, if I feel off at all, I'm just going to stop streaming. Uh, I'm just giving the heads up now for that, okay? And I've been drinking a lot of water too, I've been having good meals, I've been getting a lot of rest. So don't worry. Thanks for the well wishes though, folks. It's very kind of you. How are you all doing? I hope you've been having a better week than me. <laughs> I'm currently in bed and I'm okay, except I keep falling asleep. I'm glad you're improving. Yeah, get some rest. I, I had pretty bad fatigue, like, earlier this week, like... Oh, God, like, it, it really just hit me for, like, a few days. I think, like, Saturday and Sunday were the worst ones I had. Like, last week. Um... Oh, thank you very much, everyone, for the well wishes. Jeez, you all being too kind. What are your thoughts on the Mario Kart TLC? <laughs> so, yeah, COVID's great and all. Let's get to the real shit. We need to know your opinion. <laughs> We're taking like five minutes just to talk about my health this week. <laughs> like, yeah, that's great. Now, Mario Kart DLC, what's your opinion? Where do you stand? <laughs> I'm excited for the Mario Kart DLC. Um, I think it's really cool that we're just gonna get more tracks. I think the value for money is there, even if a lot of them are ported from the mobile game. Like, holy shit, it's 25 bucks for 48 tracks. That's insane. Uh, and if you're unhappy with that, then I think you're just unhappy in general. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I can't wait for it. Oh, God. I am unhappy in general. <laughs> oh dear. Fire Emma though. Hey Akio, how you doing? Oh, thank you for all the well wishes, guys. Oh, seriously, it's good to have you all here. I hope you're all keeping well. Um. Ah, I mean, the Nintendo Direct this week was really cool. Um, like, Jesus, like, Nintendo Switch Sports? Oh my god! Like, that came out of nowhere. I hope it's good. I, 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 do you want me to show you, like, I, I think this was, like, the reaction of most people who are watching the Direct. Uh, let, let me see if I can get this up. Alright? Because because I, I, I'm pretty sure this was everyone's reaction to the Nintendo Direct, and just Nintendo Switch Sports in particular. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me just grab this real quick for you. God, this feels weird to be doing, but, I, uh, okay. Just pretend I'm watching this live, right? Pretend I'm watching this live. Yeah. 
It's a new iteration. Oh my god, it's back! Nintendo Holy Sports shit! Sports. It's, it's finally time! Let's what the fuck are they? <laughs> That's that was everyone's reaction. <laughs> the moment they get to this screen, my heart fucking sank. Who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> no one gives a shit about these avatars. Like, these fucking plastic, plasticine, lack-all-emotion human beings. Uh, but then it's okay, because I think they showed the Miis, like, very briefly. But, like, it's, like, hidden in the trailer somewhere. <laughs> Where was it? There was a moment where they actually showed the Miis, and it was like, oh, thank God it's saved. Uh, I don't think they're even in this trailer. But that was like, like the whiplash I felt uh, when I was like watching that trailer. My heart fucking sank. Why the fuck aren't the Miis in the spotlight? <laughs> like, why? Who wanted these, like, the void of life plasticine characters? They're called, like, sports something. I don't- I don't care what they're called. And neither do you. <laughs> Bring back the Mies. Put them in the spotlight. They could've just called it Mies Sports. They got yassified. Yeah, they did. They really did. Oh, what's your favorite sports Tomo? Is that what they call? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Metaverse amazing. They look like Metaverse avatars, yes. Maybe they consulted the old Zuckerberg on this one. They're horrible. Um, but the Mies are apparently in it, so it's okay. Like, I was ready to, like, just burn the Direct to the ground. And, like, if you were watching alongside us and, like, because we watched it, the, the Nintendo Direct in the Discord, you probably saw, like, my reaction, because I, I felt like I was going to scream when they announced it and then scream in agony when the Miis were killed. Because <laughs> the Miis just give the game all its charm. It's important. Ah, oh, God. They're not in the spotlight. Massive L. You know what game did put him in the spotlight? This one. Let's go. Because I'm sick. And I want to have some fun today. Let me update the stream. For those of you who came in, you're in for a treat. <laughs> We're playing Wii Sports Resort again. <laughs> for today only. Oh, hang on. The Me Contest channel. Wii Sports Resort can automatically import popular user-created Me characters from the Me Contest channel. Important Me characters will appear in the game as opponents and spectators. I'm pretty sure this service is long dead. Some user created me characters may not be appropriate for viewing by all users. <laughs> okay. Alright, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is dead. No, no one's touched this in years. Um, but I'll try import them. Oh, my Wii Connect 24 setting is not turned on. I'm pretty sure that entire service has been discontinued. <laughs> An error occurred. It's a timeless classic. There he is! Oh god, we've not seen him in a while. It wasn't 2017. I want die played sword play. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, he kicked the shit out of some people. Um, you know, like, I... Just for today only, and because I'm actually quite excited about Nintendo Switch Sports. 
I thought it'd be fun to just play this. Um, just for today only. I, I, I don't normally revisit games like this. I like to try to do new shit, but I love this game. And we're just gonna do it today. So thanks for coming around, folks. We're gonna do as much as we can. Uh, most popular is swordplay. Let's warm up with some swordplay. It's been a while since I had a good old duel. Okay, one player. I'm not allowed to have anyone else here. Yeah, this is one of the best, like, motion control games just ever made. Uh, I'm amazed it's taken this long for us to finally start getting a sequel to this game. Like, like an actual sequel. It isn't just like the port that was Wii Sports Club. God, where did I leave this off last time I was playing? I don't remember being such a high level. I'm a bit out of practice. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to whack the mic. Hang on. Alright. Come on. You just do the one gesture. <laughs> oh no, it's not working at all. Oh no. I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, I used to be good at this game, but it's been several years since I last played it. Just waiting for them to bonk me. Battle of the mind more than anything. <laughs> and you just whack him in the side five times. Pretty sure that's how it goes. He's just flailing. Like, this is one of the games that's coming back too in the new one, which I'm actually quite happy about. Come on. Come on. You did your best, Miss Apple. This is gonna be so much fun to play with friends again. It is, it's gonna be cool, because it's just gonna be in the spotlight again. And unlike the Wii U, people actually bought a Switch. We could we can play this online. They have like a battle royale bowling mode where it's just the last person standing. Like, that's a, that's exactly what I want. There's our boy. Jesus, we got quite. I don't remember getting this far in it last time we played it. Did we really grind up to a thousand? We're like professional level already. Marco. Oh god, Marco, please. <laughs> it's fucking duel of the fates. Oh god. They're actually really strong. God, I don't remember it being so hard. Alright, let's go. Marco, please, I need to fight your manager. My battle is not with you. Thank you. I can get to him yet. Okay. I'm still in it. Oh. Come on. Oh my 
You piece of shit, Marco. I don't even want to play with you. I don't. Get him. Get him. God almighty, he put up a fight. Huh. It's the most exercise I've had in like a, a few, a, the last week as well. This is how I'm staying like peak of physical condition I am in these COVID times. Go again. Not Marco, please. Thank you. The secret is to just flail wildly until you get the opening. <laughs> <laughs> then they don't stand a chance. <laughs> you, know, you just unleash like a fucking Omni slash on him. Five hit combo has been deployed. <laughs> Imagine in like an actual professional setting, like that's how you're playing. Like I'm just like flicking my wrist <laughs> to get. Oh, you did it! I want die. Get him go. Oh, we got more points for that. How many do I need to, like, fight the, like, Matten? Is it, is it Matten the sword fight one? I can't remember. Oh, Jesus, Abe looks a bit worse than me. What's happened to him? He looks a bit spooked. Where does Mouth go? I can't talk. Oh, no. <laughs> it's tough. I need to warm up more. You get it. There we go. That motion of, like, bonking him on the head and an upstrike, like, I'm, like... Hitting him on the head first, and then just whacking into his chin. Like, I know we've got padding, but that really fucking hurt. Subs. Thank you very much. I have to concentrate when I'm playing this now. Oh my god. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh my god. Oh yeah, before we before we got into this, sorry, because we kind of just jumped into Wii Sports. I meant to just mention like a quick little Twitch thing for you. Um I well, two things. I know some of the alerts are fucked. I'm trying to fix them. Um, I'm fully aware. The other thing is, uh, we have a bunch of new emotes, and I added follower emotes. And I added Twitch follower emotes of, like, some of the most popular emotes so that more people can actually use them. 
Um, just so people know, actually, like, you can actually use the lol one and the madman one, even if you're not subbed now. Um, I changed some stuff so you, people can actually have access to them. Um, the logic just, I mean, the logic is, is that we have the slot, so we're gonna just try use them. And those are some of, like, the best and most that we've got. Uh, like, people really like the lol and madman ones. Dread's my personal favorite, we gotta have Cupcake. And I put the Drift King emote in, because the name of it is RT Game Drift King. And the logic is, if that emote is very available, then you can use that in other people's chats to remind them that they used to call me the Drift King back in college. Um, so there you go. <laughs> we changed up a bunch of the emote slots. There's a Bianco Hay for the subs as well. And, um, Von Karma is now a tier 3 to take the Drift King emote slot. Um, because he was previously a bit emote. And we've got a few more emotes coming as well. I, I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, I've been trying to, like, just add a few things. So, it's just something that, you know, you can use those emotes now, even if you're not subbed. And I think I'm, like, one of the few people on this entire platform that's actually trying this feature. Uh, because I did not see it on anyone's channel I tested. Or had a look at. So there you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to mention that, yeah, we kind of just dive right into Wii Sports. But yeah, so, the, 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 the terms and conditions is if you use them, make sure you use the Drift King one. To remind people of what they call me back in college. Oh, look at this smuck. What are you even doing? Yeah, sorry, because we, we just started, like, I want I wanted to mention that before, like, I revealed, hey, we're gonna play this today. And I just realized, like, hang on, I just didn't say anything. <laughs> Not being a professional streamer. My manager is going to have words with me. My esports organization. I, I don't have a manager. I do not understand people who have one. It's like, what about the RT game brand? Oh, come on, get him down. I'm just a man flailing a wee remote. myself included can't even use them. Uh, I don't know. Does it work on mobile? It is definitely working for a lot of people here. Um, try it on PC. Yeah, try it on PC. Uh, that That's just a Twitch thing. They'll probably fix it at some point for the app. Not, nothing I can do there, unfortunately. This guy... Did he stop? He just lowered his sword for a minute. <laughs> okay, we're climbing through the ranks. I want to get the map. Or, like, his equivalent there. It's a fucking rhythm game! <laughs> Sekiro, shadows die twice. Concussion. <laughs> I, think, I think I really hurt her. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the 
critical <laughs> Oh yeah, no, like she's in hospital. Like there's no way. There's no way about that one. Uh, Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, now we're just fighting the AI. Okay. Last one yet. I can still win. Come on, I won't die. Gotta just play a bit to fix! Didn't work. Okay. The humble inexperience. 39 points, that's fine. Didn't like that character anyway. Play against victory. God, I love this game. Got him on the ropes! Oh no! Oh my god, I'm not doing well! <laughs> it's cause I'm sick, clearly. Yeah, that's all it is, you know. There we go. <sighs> Still in it. You're sick, more like sick game play, am I right? Oh no. Oh, you shouldn't have said anything. You've cursed it. can hit him before he hits me if your reflex is just there. Get up! <laughs> I won't stop! Final round. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> it's fucking Duel of the Fates! No! <laughs> I didn't know it did that! Oh, that's so cool! It's just a shame I died instantly! <laughs> you did it! Thank you? <laughs> you lost! Great job!
Gotta fight Victor again. You failed, congratulations. <laughs> There we go. We're not taking any prisoners now. It's a participation award. <laughs> oh, God. Will you play Switch Sports when it comes out? What do you think? <laughs> How many people are playing Wii Sports Resort right now? It's like, nah, it's not for me. You know, I'm... Uh... It's a new season of Fortnite, you know, uh, play as Iron Man, the new one. What? What do you think? Come on. <laughs> of course I'm gonna be playing it. And I'm just practicing so I can take the world by a storm. Stop hurting me, Victor. There we are. Alex, thank you for the five gift subs. <laughs> You're rising to revenge. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, we're getting the points back. We're almost at 1,500. Is it Matt and the Sword? Or I, I keep thinking it's someone else, but I can't remember their name. No one's on the same level as Matt. Just like me? Wait, what? Oh, cause do is that Star Wars Duel of the Fate? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> People are saying it. <laughs> it's fucking intense when you get into it. No, oh, it's out of sync! <laughs> the remote was out of sync! It wasn't positioned in proper. Oh, that was unfair, I was still getting ready. Hold on forever! <laughs> Come on, get him! <laughs> oh no, we're going to this again. Oh, the stage didn't lower this time. Nope. No, oh, there we go. Okay. Come on! I don't stand a chance in that round. We're gradually getting the net gain in points. Get the, okay, look, we can take Andy. Andy, I'm sorry. 
Oh. <laughs> It's not going well today. <laughs> he really left himself open. Okay, we're good. You have animated emotes? We do have two animated emotes, and we might have more coming soon. I feel like, God, if I hit them and they, if, if I block them, right, I get pushed back further than if they block me. Come on, Andy. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hang on. Just finish him. So if I block them, they don't really go far back. But if they block me, I get bounced back quite a bit. I need to get to the end. Here we go. Alright. I'm ready. Come on, Pierre! Just fall already! <laughs> God, he didn't want to go! There we go. Now I just need to defend for like, for like a minute and a half or something. How long is the round? I just have to defend. You cannot beat me, Pierre. My armor is impenetrable. <laughs> You cannot <laughs> try as you might. Oh no! Let's break the troop. Gotta bop him back a bit. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm the worst person right now. <laughs> No way you can beat me, Pierre. Ah, <laughs> oh, Emma, thank you very much for the raid. How's it going, folks? You're all very welcome. Playing a timeless masterpiece of a game. Okay, we did, just defending forever works really well. You're all very welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed Donkey Kong. <laughs> We're almost at 1,500 points, and we're getting ready to fight the final boss of the sword game. Ow. Assuming... I don't die here.
Get him. Not today. It's so tough. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just smacked him when the round was over. There's no need for that. God damn it. He's too powerful. First time viewer from chat. RT, I hate you. Ha, <laughs> thank. Nice to have you here, ain't it? I hope you have a wonderful day. Like this guy. Oh no, now it's the hard one. <laughs> I'm not gonna get him. It's too- I'm really bad at this. <laughs> it just needs 60 more points. All too easy, Stamp, as we like struggled for four rounds. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, next up is James. I think we'll know when we get to the final boss because we'll have the purple sword. I hit the mic. I'm sorry. <sighs> Pro streamer. The thing is, like, come April, everyone's going to be streaming this again. Like, how wild is that? Because it's coming out on Switch, you're gonna have a whole new community playing, like, the Wii series of games. And I, for one, am so excited. I can't wait to just play bowling with a bunch of people and, like, not have to, like, dolphin emulate the shit out of it. So it's gonna be accessible. Easy to do for folks. I'm gonna get him down. Oh. oh, come on! <laughs> Try it again. Likes doing that sideways block. It was his undoing. Tired Spud guy, thank you for a thousand bits. Glad you feel well enough to scream down. I haven't seen this game in a while. This is time travel, basically. I mean, the last time I probably played this was when I streamed it. That would have been like. God, end of 2018? That's a long time ago. I played like Wii Sports in 2019. I think we played it with the baby once. It's been a while since I played this one though. I just wanted to do something fun today. And I'm excited for the new one, like, coming out. Okay, we're almost there. Gotta fight Rin.
She is potentially the last challenge. Before we get to the real enemy. Jesus! I'm ready. She's really taking her time. Here we go. I think I can just ward her towards the edge. <laughs> there we go. Just let them be aggressive. I can block better than I can hit. Like the Obi Wan logic, just stay alive a long while, and you'll eventually, you'll hopefully win the fight. Doesn't always work. Cause like her blocks are like insane. So we're just gonna block her to the edge. This is so mean. <laughs> And then we just gotta pop her off. I feel like I'm exploiting the game. Oh, we're so close. We need 11 more points. Oh, never mind. No, he's, he's just here. Oh, the music's a bit more intense. Oh my god, I, I'm actually surprised it's Matt. I thought it was a different one for this game. Okay. Alright, I gotta fight for my life. <laughs> Here we go. Come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> he took the first round! Round two! <laughs> It's so hard. Pop him back. Pop him back. We're walking him around. We're walking him around. Come on. Now it's done. Uh, one more time. He's done. He's been defeated once again. An ancient evil has left our land.
20 points, nice. You did it! There can only be one. That's a pretty good start. Um, there's other games in the pack we haven't played yet. You walk all over him like his name suggests. So terrible. Oh, Matt, right? Looks like they should call you Doormat. Do I get the purple sword now that I've beaten him? Who's in? No, I, I don't care about you. Hang on. Someone wants to play against you. Okay, no, we don't get a purple sword. You have to hold one for the purple sword. I need to see. No, no one gives a shit about me. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, game. That did not give me the purple sword. I tried it. Okay. But uh, you know what? I think we've earned a round of bowling. Let's play a 10 pin game. Probably like the best one of Wii Sports too. Like this is the one that like your mum would love to play every time he had company around in 2006. But she wouldn't call it the Wii. She'd say the bowling game, and she would love to show it to like like you know like her sister or like your 50 year old aunt. And they'd be like, oh you wait you can play bowling in the living room? That, that's wonderful, isn't it? Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. Is this the most amount of exercise you've gotten since the punch out vid? Probably. <laughs> Amber, thank you for a thousand as well. Thank you very much. This is one of the best games of all time. It is. Okay. Some good old fashioned bowling. God, that's a weak ball. <laughs> Haven't got much strength left, guys. Used all my energy beating that. Good throw. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is still better than how bold an IRL would go for me. Um. This might come as a shocker to you, but I'm actually physically quite weak. And when it, when I do actually play bowling in a bowling alley, it's actually impressive for me if I can simply get the ball to the, reach the pins. Because half the time I don't give it enough strength or I lack the dexterity to actually aim it, and it just ends up in the gutter. I'm like ten times better at Wii Sports bowling than I am actual bowling. It's like lifting up a wheel road, I can do that. I've got that motion down. Mostly. Alright! Uh, but like actual bowling ball. And like even like like something else that I struggle with, I really struggle to not go over the line. Because when I let go of the ball, I'm like taken with it. And I feel like every time I'm about to chuck the ball, my fingers are gonna stay in it. It goes onto the alley and I just get tossed in the air. It's like a moment of terror. But this is fun. Good kick up. You have to hit the audience, it's tradition. <laughs> you sound like a fucking psychopath saying it that way. <laughs> like, yeah, go on, you're playing it. Like, oh, he throws the ball backwards! Welcome back to Wii Sports Bowl, like zany moment, episode 347. I did the funny thing, guys! Whoa! The sad thing is, 
I made that joke last time I played this game. I think that's the exact voice I used to. <laughs> you can go back and watch it. I mean, this is, I, I guess, this is like the fourth time I've played a Wii Sports game in four years. I did resort, I did sports, I did sports club, and now I'm doing this. Unless you count the brief tennis with the baby incident. Um, we are the lemons. Like finally, RT Games finally back at like Wii Sports zany bowling moments. God, I've been waiting four years for this and like, his content's just gone to shit in the meanwhile. He hasn't uploaded City Skylines in like a year. <laughs> How am I supposed to have fun if he doesn't say country roads? Or throw the bowling ball backwards. Uh, no, those, those, that kind of thing is fun to make. I just don't want to do it ad nauseum. <laughs> He's did the funny thing again. <laughs> it's like when city skylines. They actually still play city skylines every now and then. It's good fun. I just I just don't really have any new ideas and I'm kinda happy. Actually no, it's not even that. I'm happy with the ones that I've done. Uh, if I have one that I really want to share, I'll work my way up to do it. I don't actually have a few ideas. I've been testing some of them. Uh, but they don't really work the way I want them to. You know, there was like stories and build up in a lot of those streams. Like, we weren't just setting out from the offset, like, I'm going to destroy everyone. You know? It was like, no, we're testing like a really stupid idea and like trying to get it to actually work. That was those videos. Like, the Blimp City was like, well, realistically, can we make a city that's completely dependent on Blimps as public transport? The answer was no. The answer was no, for the love of God, please don't do that. Uh, but it was funny. You know, uh, it was like a journey doing it. And I had a great time doing it, and just testing it. <laughs> that's sad. What's your favorite accomplishment for City Skylines? Uh, I'm quite proud of the volcano of shit erupting and drowning West, the population of West Virginia. Uh, it's definitely up there, it's one of my finest moments. I'll play another round of bowling. It's a new. Excellent! Don't forget 100% traffic. That was honestly impressive. Now, I got accused of cheating in City Skylines because. I solved traffic so well. <laughs> like, that that's wild to me. Actual esports, like, I'll have to be investigated for cheating. <laughs> because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Uh, that was a fun event. I can actually say I've been an esports athlete now. And if anyone asks, like, yeah, I've been sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> Isn't that wild? It's like your dad playing bowling on the Nintendo Wii. Red Bull knows what's up. Put it on your resume. If I ever had to make a resume, I probably would. <laughs> That'd probably be something you want to stick on it, yeah. How you've grown, my boy. Like, I mean, a lot has happened since the last time we were uh, playing bowling in Wii Sports. Having our zany moments. God, I keep getting more horrendous splits. Did it. 
Would it be a WWE of me again? Uh, I don't know what I want to make the next WWE. Because we've done a good few of them. We solved all the world's problems, so it's hard to get a sequel to that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh no. Straight down the middle. Good kick up. This game is so relaxing. I love bowling. In this game. Can't do it higher off of life. It's just so chill. Like, honestly, when this came out in 2006, it was like magic. Like, I, I nice just there. everyone playing it. Like, your family and, like, your mom and dad who weren't interested in video games would be picking up a Wii. And, like, they'd be giving it a go because, yeah, they like bowling. It was, like, one of those kind of weird gaming moments. It was, like, you know when, like, Pokemon Go came out? And, like, for, for, like, at least a few weeks, like, everywhere you went around your city and that or your town, you just run into people. Like, gathering around Pokestops trying to catch shit. Well, it's like when the Wii came out, it was kind of like that, but everyone was playing bowling in their living rooms, basically. <laughs> and it was quite a time. I remember. I got my Nintendo Wii, uh, because it came out shortly after I did my confirmation. Uh, confirmation, uh, for those of you not involved with the Catholic Church, or Irish, because that's most of us here. Um, confirmation is basically when you confirm you're a Catholic, is how I would describe it. Like, you've been kind of doing Catholic stuff up until that point. But this is like, okay, you've signed the contract now. Um, now, I've never been particularly religious. Uh, but the reason that you do it in Ireland is because your relatives, whenever you do your communion and your confirmation, they give you a fuckload of money. Because it's a big deal. Uh, so me, being like the savvy kid that I was, wasn't, you know, I wasn't really all for it. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go along with this, because I can buy a Nintendo Wii. <laughs> and that's what I did. And I bought, got Wii Sports with it, and WarioWare Smooth Moves, and it was an amazing summer. <laughs> that's the real reason you do it in Ireland. You got money. It's kind of like it's kind of like an odd tradition thing in Ireland, where like your relatives and that give you a bunch of money, and that when you're doing communion confirmation, maybe it's just an Irish thing more than anything. But that's why you do it when you're it's a kid. A new Poland's too. See, there you go. Because like when you do it, it's like holy shit. You know, I just made 600 euro. It's like, I'm gonna buy a bike. That's what I bought for my uh, holy communion. I was a savvy kid. It's like, holy shit, I can get a bike, and if I do this again later, I can get something else. <laughs> it's like a Catholic version of the Bar Mitzvah uh, grift. Maybe, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with Bar Mitzvahs, but maybe it's like the equivalent. Because the Bar Mitzvah is kind of like a big party, isn't it? For the Jewish faith. I don't know the exact details of it. Catholics in Canada, too. No, for real, they gave you a choice. Well, I was kind of being brought up in it, but, like, it was always weird because I was br being brought up in a Catholic, and I went to a Catholic Good school, and I went to a Catholic secondary school. Um, I've only ever been to Mass, though, even with my family, when, like, someone is married or someone is dead. And there, there was, like, it was never in between, so it's like... Oh no, I was never really like the most religious person because of that. But like at that point then like, well I've already done my communion. Confirmation comes around and it's like I remember going into it for the confirmation, it's like, holy shit, the Nintendo Week. This is like eleven year old me, it's like this is gonna be a great investment.
Not even Christmas, no. No, we, 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 we don't, we don't really, do, like, do mass or anything like that. Our family's all Catholic, too, but we're not really religious. Like, that's just how it is in Ireland. A lot of us have lost faith in the church here because... Oh, they've done some terrible things. Um... Nice uh, yeah, it's a weird thing. I reckon, like, my generation's probably gonna be one of the last ones like that, where you kind of just go along with it. Because I know when I, I have kids, I'm not gonna be like, Hey, become a Catholic, sonny boy. Get some money out of it, you know? That would be a bit fucking weird for me to kind of, like, keep this tradition going. I don't feel like that's my place. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, go on, son. If you do that, I'll give you 600 quid. You can buy a Switch. <laughs> like, like... No, they... If a kid wants to be religious, that's their own choice. They do that themselves. Sounds like bribery. <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird old thing. And it's weird because it's like... That confirmation is now tied to a lot of my memories of Wii Sports because I played a shitload of Wii Sports after I did my confirmation. Because that's how I got the money to buy the console. If you're religious yourself, that's all well and good. You do you. Should make that clear too. I'm just sharing though my experiences. Nice and how it is for a lot of folks in Ireland. Is that, wait, Dan, does that mean you got baptized? Yes, I did. I, that's just that's just what you did in Ireland. We're a notoriously Catholic country. Good pick up. I'm actually doing quite well this game. I'm getting a lot of space. Oh, why did I have to say anything? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I really tried there. <laughs> oh god damn it, that was the only one I missed it on too. Oh. When can we see your baby pictures? You can already see one of them, it's on my Instagram. Go we'll have a look there. All right. The Drift Bowler. This game for me just brings memories of like a different time. I know this is the resort version as well. The resort version is just Wii Sports, but better. Uh, Cause it just has more games, don't it? And it's like, I, I think my favorite too as it was, like, I, I, I mean, I think the best ones in, excuse me, in Wii Sports, like tennis, was tennis was great, bowling, golf, boxing. No one really cared about baseball as much. Boxing's gone in this one, but you get the sword play one, which I think is way cooler. Uh, you do lose tennis, weirdly. You only get table tennis, I think. That was always struck me as a bit weird, but it's still good fun. And then you still have like bowling and golf in this. Baseball is fun though. I just didn't like it as much as the other ones. Still got a bit of tennis to table tennis for you. something. But yeah, this is, for the most part though, this is just like strictly better Wii Sports. And I love it for that. That last pin. Alright! I'm getting better. I'm gonna go another round. This is like y your dad just talking about the good old days while he bowls. Come here, son, and like watch me bowl these 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 ten pin games. Like, dad, when can I have a turn? Now you just sit back and watch. Get get dad some more chips. Get him, see if the bar's open yet. Get him a drink. It's a new record. It's basically what we're doing here. Bowling is a total vibe. It's so chill. Like, I really love it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to click that. 
me, let me close that tab. <laughs> Let me get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Von Caro, thank you for uh, 2,700 bits. Jesus Christ, here's some snack money to enjoy with the game. Thank you very much, man. Very kind of you. Thunderstone, thank you for the 500 bits as well. They called him the sick king in college. <laughs> like Wii Sports Nostalgia Day because I'm excited for the new game. I really can't wait. Like, my favorite thing about it is just the fact that it's going to be like, it's new, it's online. There's going to be people playing these wonderful games again. Like, people, like, like the, th the times that I love and some of the times that, like, that I just associate with my childhood is like when me and my friends after school, we just go around to someone's house and it's like, hey, you want to play Mario Kart? Hey, you want to play Wii Sports? Hey, you want to play Mario Party? And we're now getting to an era of games where a lot of that is coming back again. And it's so wonderful. And it's some of those specific things. Because now it's like, hey, do you want to play Mario Kart? Here's the best one ever made. Hey, you want to play Nintendo Switch Sports? It's back. Hey, you want to play a new Mario Party? But it's like, it's a new Mario Party, but it's based on all the old games we played back in the day. And it's just, oh, like, I love it. I love it. It's a good time. It's like the games of our childhoods are being remade, but like HD and some better quality of life changes. There'll always be some stuff missing, there always is. But it's cool to kind of just have bits of them back still. All right. You have friends, I know, shock horror. Who would have thought it? A nerd like me. Oh, I can't do the nerd voice when I'm sick. Hang on, let me... Oh god, how bad is this gonna sound? As you see, RT, it was I that... Oh, oh I'm really having a bad day. <laughs> I can't do it. Do Toad. I shouldn't do Toad anymore. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> oh no. I can't do Toad anymore. It'll come back. I just need some more rest. <laughs> me trying to do like a full pitch whale, like a code kind of scream, like that did not work the way I thought it would. Uh, Commander, thank you for a thousand bits. It's been a minute since I've been able to send bits and, and sub. Glad to be back in here for the stream. I grew in the US as a CEO Catholic. Christmas, Easter, and ordained holidays were pretty much the only times we went to Mass. Well, thank you very much for the bits. See, I imagine that was a lot of people, but we didn't even do that. Like, Christmas for us and our family um, was literally, like, one of the best days of the year because we just stay at home and relax and chill. Uh, even to this day, like, Christmas holidays to me is I get a new game and I just play it. Like, for pretty much all day and we'll have good food in that. Like, I see my family. We meet up for dinner, we meet up for a lovely breakfast, and then I was like, right, I'm going to play video games. And I just have like a chill and wonderful day. We don't go anywhere, we just stay at home. Back in the day, we used to watch the Doctor Who Christmas special as part of it too, uh, until they got really shit. It was a good time. Good kick up. Uh, 
I miss Christmas Day Doctor Who. Me too. They used to be real good in this too. Gradually getting there. Seems to be a bit of a nice spot there. Oh, this is gonna be rough. We did it. Sounds like a bang at Christmas, honestly. I'd strongly recommend it. Just have like a chill vacation day or two. Strike! We're getting better. Oh no! <laughs> the clapping's now just like, yeah, well done, well done. Good show up there, Daniel. You did your best. Oh no, why is it going that way? We were doing so well, and it's like very poor display come the end. We'll go one more. We'll go one more round of nostalgia balling, okay? What do you think of the Xenoblade uh, 3 announcement the other day? I'm really excited for it. I still need to finish 2. And I need to play the one on Switch at some point. Those are good games. Okay, we're gonna bowl a perfect game. A mostly perfect game. Gotta stop talking. What's the problem? Oh my god! The audible boos in the audience. Like, who's watching me bowl at the moment? Like, no, oh, he's shit. No. Like, dude, I'm just, I'm just trying to enjoy like my Friday night at the alley. I didn't come for this kind of judgment. Staff are all here just watching me in the bowling. Like, no. Oh, got another stinker in the alley tonight. No. Oh. <laughs> that's us. It's just chat every time I miss. Oh, that's chat in the lane next to me. Like, look, look at you guys. Look at chat. Didn't even get all the pins. And that beard you got going there, that goatee's never gonna work. Who do you think you are, Tony Stark? Come on now, chat. You're fooling no one. Alright, alright! <laughs> One dad. <laughs> now you're acting like my real dad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh come on. The bad game. Bad day in the alley. Odds are against us. You've escaped the pin. You are terrible at both. <laughs> what was it that someone said in chat the other day? Like, my stream's the only one where RT role plays an abusive father. <laughs> Why do we keep doing this? <laughs> How does this happen and become like such a staple thing where like, I'm everyone's dad and I'm just like talking shit to you? You're our dad. 
Because uh, people keep coming back. Like, if you talk about this stream or recommend it to anyone, you're going to sound insane. Oh, you'll love his channel. <laughs> you'll... Oh, no. You'll love his channel. He pretends to be my father and yells abuse at me. <laughs> God, you're fucking weird. <laughs> like... I feel kind of sorry for you. That's what you do with your Sunday afternoons. <laughs> oh. Still love your team, Dad. Pretty weird, not gonna lie. Like, the people who came over from Emma's, uh, Emma's stream. Are any of you still here? Is anyone still here? I might have seen some of you in Emma's chat. Emma's streams are wonderful. Raise your hand if it's your first time here, and you've hopped over. Are you very confused at this point in time? Like, what questions would you like answered? Hands up. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few people. It's their first time here. What what questions would you like answers for? What kind of explanations? It's my first time here. I'm here from Emma, but that new. I don't know how I ended up here. Why can't you be our dad? <laughs> Why do you want die? <laughs> uh, so this is I want die. He's kind of like our mascot um, for our channel and just uh, emblematic of the society I guess we live in these times. The uh, rat with anxiety and existential dread. <laughs> His very existence is suffering. <laughs> I hope that explains it. <laughs> we made a me that looked like he wants to die. <sighs> How long have you been playing Mario Kart? This isn't Mario Kart. This, this is Wii Sports Resort. It's a different game. I think they're confused. Playing Mario Kart uh, pretty much since the Nintendo DS one back in the day. Oh, right. <laughs> Is that a Pikachu? <laughs> oh god! I can't wait to be like the hip gamer dad in like my future child's life. You know, because all the other dads, they're all gonna be like. Yeah, come on, son, we're, go we're going to watch the baseball game. And then I'll be here, it's like, oh my god, AGDQ is on. Come see Dark Souls 2 be beaten in an hour and a half. No DLC. Dad, what, what the fuck are you talking about? What does any of that mean? You'll love it, son, you'll love it. <laughs> I'm going to be that dad. I want to be cool and outgoing, right? So I'm gonna be the dad because like it's a common problem that most most parents will face with their child at some point or another as they grow up in their lives is They're going to have their first drink and they might be underage when they have their first drink That's there's no shame here. We've all done it at least once, right? Um, and so when I if I catch my child with a bag of cans in the field I'm gonna- I'll go up and be like, Son! What are you doing out here? You absolute disgrace! Let me show you how to make a real drink. And then I take- I take- Him and his friends, they all come around, and I show them how to make margaritas. That's the dad I wanna be. Or maybe not margaritas, cause that actually might fucking kill him. Margaritas are strong, but like, uh, proper drinks. <laughs> Margarita, <laughs> that would fucking kill him. <laughs> that would destroy these poor kids. <laughs> like, Dad, no, there's too much alcohol in this. No, this is a real drink, son. You're gonna love it. <laughs> that 
going to make the situation like exponentially worse. <laughs> I don't feel too good. That's it, son. It's a real drink. <laughs> oh, no. No, I wouldn't actually do that. I wouldn't actually do that. That's just a joke. That's just a joke. <sighs> You're a man now, son. For the legal reasons, I can't watch this stream anymore. You can give Chad a good cocktail. Uh, my advice for a cocktail for Chad is don't drink margaritas. They will kill you. That's how you end a night. They will destroy you. Nice like, you know how like most cocktails and that it's like yes we're gonna have some tonic water we're gonna have a bit of mint leaf uh we're gonna like, like you know we might just have a rum and coke together and some nice ice and some lime juice and a shot of bourbon a margarita is let's take alcohol and put more alcohol on it that's the drink <laughs> like it'll fucking kill you if you're not careful and yeah, you put salt on the top of the glass or a margarita to lessen the strength of the alcohol. Uh, that's part of the recipe because you've made a drink that's so cataclysmically strong that you lick salt before you drink it just to gnaw the taste of it a bit. <laughs> Just don't do it. One more game of bowling. One more game of bowling, then we'll start golf. <laughs> What's in a margarita asking for a friend? <laughs> My god, man, it's five in the afternoon. You can't just be saying that. Good kick up. Dad, you've been saying one more game for the past five days. I can get the perfect game. I can do it this time, for real. It's important. Point one is actually one thousand, but Dad forgot to say thousand. <laughs> so the people who are still here um, from Emma's stream, and it's also if it's just your first time stopping by my channel in general, do you now have more questions than when you joined? <laughs> That's fine. I'm just I'm just checking. So I like to imagine our community as very close knit, and they really come together and stick around together as a community. Because once you're in it, no one else is going to want to be associated with you. That's my audience. <laughs> Good kick up. We're close knit because no one else understands us. <laughs> Uh, it's a hostage situation. <laughs> oh, God. No! Just one more game. I can get it in the next one. 
Dirty Game presents how to lose viewers in 10 minutes or less. Like every time someone new comes to chat, like we have to like scare them away. <laughs> like, oh, there's a new viewer in the chat. There's a new viewer. Sing the new viewer song. They'll love that. Make you feel right at home in this community. Hey, new viewer, it's your first time here. Come on and watch the stream. Are you ready to cheer? They're gone. Like, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Leave, please, God help us. And I have to sing that like every time it's someone's first time here. Hey, new viewer two, you're here too? Oh, Jesus, fucking English degree in full effect rhyming two with fucking two. Jesus. <laughs> Four years wasted. Good. This stream is like a school talent show gone horribly wrong. It's just holding the school hostage in the hall. I think it's like it's like the, the school talent show, but I'm the only one taking part in the talent show. But the judges don't want me to win. So they're stalling for time so that I don't get the award. That's how I describe my streams. <laughs> Oh, that pin should, should have fallen over. Look at that. Come on, it moved. So I'd be the only contestant in the talent show, and the judges at the end would be... And the winner, by an unprecedented margin, is you, the audience. You all win today. <laughs> like, what? Well, I was the only one who... Quiet, Daniel. We won, chat. Nice. Finally, I won at something. Oh, no. Right, so, now, once again, if it's your first time here, at this point, you're saying, like, Jesus, so he just slags everyone in chat and then he slags himself. Like, does he hate everyone? <laughs> I used to try explain what I do online to my mum. After a certain point, I just stopped. Uh, because it just seemed futile. It's like, oh, so what are you doing like this weekend, Daniel? It's like, I'm drowning the population of West Virginia in their own shit. Oh. That sounds fun. What are you doing next weekend? I'm murdering 3,000 sheep. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, it, it's just hard to explain. Your mom sounds very <laughs> understanding. And so after that, I was like, God, you remember when Daniel wanted to be an engineer when he went to college? I miss those days. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Play some golf. Did you want to be an engineer? I picked all my subjects in like high school and secondary school uh, with the intention of going into engineering. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, but then last year I decided to jump ship to English because I realized actually I'd be kind of miserable if I did engineering. Uh, but I did like honors maths, applied maths, design and technical graphics. Uh, I was all in for it and I was actually, I did pretty well in all those too. English wasn't as good of a subject for me as the others, but I just want... I liked English more. Ooh, 
We're gonna go. We're gonna go with full 18 holes. A long round of golf today. I'm in for a treat. I think I remember how to play. Ah, good enough. <laughs> we'll get it there eventually. <laughs> Tiger Woods uh, competing in the, uh, like... Uh, let's, no, who, who else is there playing golf? Who are, like... Rory McElroy? Wait, no, what's his name? There's a few of them. The golf people. I don't know any- I don't know sports. Is Rory McIlroy one? Golf McPherson? <laughs> Mr. Golf is going to play. Uh, Miss, Mr. John Golf. Yeah. Uh, Mr. John Golf is coming up to take a shot here. Uh, John, what's your plan for the tournament today? I uh, just whack it in the general direction. It'll go in the hole eventually. Oh, uh, do you have any, like, tactics you're gonna deploy? Yeah, I'm going to the bar when this is all over. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see how you get on today, uh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's John Golf there. <laughs> Representing Ireland. <laughs> Clue B go. <laughs> On the green. We get a chance for a birdie. Look at that. Good birdie. John Golf, you got it in in three shots. What do you have to say about that performance? Ah, it's all right. Could have, could have got it in a bit sooner, you know. Uh, be nice if I just hit the ball and it went in the hole, you know. Uh, some encouraging words from John Golf. How do you feel about the competition today, John? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please let them do interviews like that in like sporting events. <laughs> please. Just like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I really just need to get done with the tournament. I have something on later. <laughs> There's a new Spider-Man movie. I, I want to go just take my kids to see. I really couldn't give a rat's ass if I'm here today in the tournament. <laughs> Great approach, John Golf. That was amazing. You got it next to the hole in your very first shot. I ah, could have gone in the first time, though. You know. Oh, for fuck's sake. John, I don't think you're allowed to swear on national television. I don't fucking care what you're allowed to do on national television. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> John, you don't, you don't seem to be having a good day on the field today. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining this on like live TV. <laughs> like, like he's just going off on it. Like he's lost it. <laughs> oh, you got a bogey there, John Golf. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I picked a bad day to quit drinking. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> He's just like brutally honest. <laughs> like, unhappy. Oh. Okay. Alright, John Golf on hole three. Alright, let's take a stance. 
Oh, that's a bad shot. Oh, fuck, it's going into the woods. <laughs> Not a good not it's not a good day, John Golf. I don't know why I'm still playing, honestly. I have a confession. Uh. John Golf's caddy lives in constant fear. Uh John! John, I found your ball! Uh you're not gonna like where it ended up. Tell me it was on the green, sonny boy. Uh, no, John, it was a little further from the green. What do you mean, it was a little further? Don't you know who I am? John, please, I just, I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> I'll show you your job. Ah, John, John, no. You're not supposed to use the club like that. Oh my god. You feel new viewers are really confused now, Dan. <laughs> Probably. <sighs> John, please, you can still get a bogey! I'll show you a bogey! <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I wouldn't like to work for Mr. John Golf. No, it seems like it'll be a rough job. RT game professional LARPer? <laughs> so, so what does RT do on his channel? Well, he's like a live action roleplay fa a channel. It's weird. He has all these characters. Sometimes he plays my abusive father. Other times he plays an abusive golfer. He's just got a bit of a knack, and you know, there's a whole range of personalities he can pull off. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes he just screams his toad. Oh my god! Like, John Golf would be going like full Happy Gilmore at this point. He'd be like screaming at the ball. Just like whacking the pitch with his like putter. Triple bogey. God. I think for every like for every point that we end up with, like that's a shot in the bar for Mr. John Golf later. That's how he eases his sorrows. Oh, that's a Oh, that's a bad miss. Fuck, I didn't wanna have tequila tonight. He ends up with negative points. I'll just have a nice glass of water. I'm like John Golf's John Golf's rage is contained. <laughs> You're supposed to not hit the water, John. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> John Kalf is the person giving his son margaritas. <laughs> no, I think John. I think I don't think John Golf would give his son margaritas. Like John Golf catches his child drinking. What are you doing with that bag of cans? This is a real man's drink, and he just slams a bottle of tequila on the desk. It's like, Mr. Golf, no, I, I, I don't think I can have that quantity. 
That's bullshit. You started drinking, now you finished the drink. Mr. Golf, no! <laughs> I feel like John Golf would be the kind of person where if he catches his child smoking, he'd be like, well, now you finished the pack. <laughs> and cause, like, irrepar irreparable damage to, like, their poor child. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Mr. Golf's son doesn't even call him dad. <laughs> you address me by my proper title, sonny boy. <laughs> As Mr. Golf to you, this is the Golf family household. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, John Golf's having a bad day today. Okay. Uh, we can... We just gotta kind of swing it over here. Enjoyed a few moments ago, confused, but highly entertained. <laughs> I feel like you could take that message and it's just like, that's like the TripAdvisor review for my channel. I tried it out, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I had a great time. I'd recommend it. This John Golf married to Magical John. No, that's a that's a different John in our like cinematic universe we have. I don't think so. Scared but intrigued. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Great car. It's just, it's just when you look at like the sum of Twitch, it's just, I feel like what we do here is a bit weird. It's like, oh, what's going on Twitch? It's like, okay, some Fortnite, uh, people playing like Lost Ark. Uh, you know, popular streamer reacts to popular streamer. What's RT Game up to? Oh, he's pretending to be your dad again. And he's playing golf and he's yelling at you. It's a hard sell. a real bad shot. No, it's going straight for the bunker. John, no. Don't do it, John. <laughs> okay, John, I, I don't want you to freak out. Where'd the ball land, sonny boy? I don't want you to freak out, John. I'll find the ball. Uh, we, 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 we lost it. We lost it. I don't know where it went. I'll lose you. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it telling me to make this shot? Like, it's never gonna make it. <laughs> There's no way we're getting out of here. <laughs> okay, John, I know you're not gonna like this. You have to take the next shot from behind a tree. What do you mean from behind a tree? You just gotta play it where it lands, John. I didn't make the rules of the game. I don't want to miss! Yes. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Dad, you need to practice your swings. I'm trying! I haven't played Wii Golf in a while. <laughs> I can get it with the putter from here. Oh. Devastating. 
Thank oh god, I'm that was terrible. Yeah. Triple bogey. It's not looking good for John Golf right now. He's plus ten. He really needs to bring it back. It's the commentary surrounding John Golf that I think will be much more interesting as well. Because golf commentary, I don't know if anyone's ever suffered through it. And, and I don't even think that's offensive to even say it like that. I don't know why they do golf commentary this way. It's like... Rory gearing up to take the shot. Considering the wind direction... Giving it a big swing. Whack! Ball is moving towards the hole. And it's on the green. On the green. Those people probably get paid like seven figure sums. Like, I don't Great even know shot. if they're all there. It's so boring. So, like, for John Golf, like, I don't know how it would be. He's like, John Golf lining up to take his shot. Appears to be yelling at his caddy for some reason. His caddy has gotten into his golf cart and. Seems to be doing 60 down the green. Barreling away in the opposite direction to try get away, but John Goff, not to be outdone. He's got an impressive swing and arm. Whack! As he's managed to hit his caddy from 40 feet away with a driver. It's an impressive dislocation. Of the shoulder. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think like, I think like a version, uh, hell is literally just a golf commentator starts commentating your life and like the rest of your existence. Like I, I'd, I, I'd go insane. Daniel. Debating, getting up in the morning now. Putting one sock on his left foot and another sock on his right. He's looking out the window longly now. Seems to be a distant look in his eyes as if he just doesn't want to go on anymore. Debating instead to brush his teeth. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> With that kind of commentary, you just you'd lose your mind so quickly. Nice approach! You'd lose your mind. This is worse than the toad voice. Great par. You got par. Uh, your life but with a friend's laugh track. Oh god, I got I can kind of do that. It's like Hey guys, I thought I thought we could hit up the bar like kind of after work today. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'm going to play tennis uh, With Kevin Oh, but Daniel, I thought we had plans to all meet up at the bar later. And I thought we had plans to play tennis. Wow, you're a real asshole, Daniel. No, you're an asshole. <laughs> I feel like that's most sitcoms. <laughs> Like that's half of them. <laughs> uh.
Wait, the laugh track is low? Can you guys not hear the laugh track? Well, you can hear it. Oh, it was kind of quiet. Oh, okay. It's a bit low. I have to adjust it. Game is loud compared to everything else. Okay. I think I think that's I have to adjust my uh, mixer a bit more. I think for that. I'll, I'll, I'll get nice on approach. That get it fixed. This is kind of like all going through one input track at the moment. It's a bit jank. God, that was a sad shot. There's a bogey. Fun fact, most laugh tracks were recorded in the 1950s. You're hearing dead people laugh. Oh no. It's kind of spooky now. I don't like that. I don't... Great shot! Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, John Golf, uh, that was the best shot I've ever made in my career. Yes, it was wonderful, John, but I have some bad news for you. What do you mean you got bad news? John, just try to stay calm. I'll show you calm. <laughs> It always ends with just like an escalation where it's like, I'll show you whatever you just said. <laughs> it's just how John Golf goes. Whack it across. This is a sad day. I'll show you the best shot of my career. Oh my god! I'll show you the best shot of my career! He just pulls out a gun. Like, John, no! It's gone way too far now! Oh my god. John Golf pulling out a pistol on the fairway. His caddy appears to be running down the fairway, taking cover in the bunker, but he's confused it for a military one, and the sand will do little to stop ja John's rash. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Did pretty good though. John's cat, he should just quit at this point. <laughs> Be amazing if he was still working for him after all this time. You think you can leave me the great John Golf? Nice shot! I'll show you leaving me! <laughs> It's- that's just what he says. I'll show you. <laughs> the laugh track now plays one voice loud. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> you think it was like- oh my god, could you imagine if like... They're just like- BuzzFeed Unsolved, it's like Ryan and Shane, they're investigating like an abandoned like theater or something. The, the, uh, the, the abandoned ruins of, like, Universal Studios, like, long after it's all wrapped up. And it's like, this is where they used to record a documentary called Friends back in the day. They turn on the spirit box. Spirit box makes a noise like... <laughs> is, there, is there anyone there? Can you give us a sign? We're, get, we're getting some interference on the box. <laughs> I understand there was an audience of you here, b back in the day. Uh, you used to watch these 
quite poorly made uh, sitcom productions. Can you tell us anything about that experience? <laughs> and if that happened, it's accurate. Occasionally you just hear on the spirit box like, pivot. That's it. It's a, it's a weird thing to think about, right? Because you know how in society we have a lot of ghosts that come up and it's like, like this was like the noble, like this is like a noble lady who lived a hundred years ago in mansion mansion. And, and... You know, sometimes she's seen turning on the studio- the lights at three in the morning. A hundred years from now, like, we're all gonna be the ghosts in society, right? So, like, you could just be walking around, it's like, well, this is where the famous actor David Schwimmer lived. And sometimes, at twelve at night, you can hear a faint voice saying something about a sandwich. Like, someday I'm gonna be, like, the dead ghost. And it's like, can you give us a sign that you are here? And it's like, you just have your spirit box playing, like, your grandkids. And all that will come up and it's like, Drift King. Like, oh my god, I think we've got him! I think there's an actual ghost on the other end! Like, we have to agree now, right? Because we're all much more aware about ghosts than that. That when we all die, we just gotta fuck with people. When people they, when they try reach out to us. Like, we gotta, like, play, like, pranks on our grandkids and just scare the shit out of them. With, like, confusing slang terms of our time that they won't understand. So like, the, the spirit, your, your, grandkid, your great great grandkid turns on the spirit box. I'm gonna try and make contact with our dead relatives. Is there anyone there? Monka S. I, I, we picked up something, I'm not sure what word he's saying though. Could you give us another sign? Poggers. I, I'm, it's, what does this mean? They're speaking in some different language. The granddad, is that really you there? Sussy baka. No, oh god, no, turn it off, it's him! <laughs> that, those, those are the communications that our grandkids are gonna have when we all die. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a new era of paranormal investigations. Cringe. <laughs> you say cringe now, all right? On the green. I'm gonna have to put up my spirit much longer than when I'm alive. Think about it. In the grand sum of history, I'm gonna spend more time dead than I ever did on this planet. So get used to hearing me from beyond the grave on the spirit box, Drift King, because it's gonna fucking happen. We haunt speakers and brick roll. <laughs> oh god. The next phasmophobia patch. <laughs> yeah, John Golf is about to make the shot of his career. <laughs> it's like, John, that's off the golf course. You can't aim that way. There's a patch of clearing in the woods. John, no, that's not even connected. There's a cliff. We can't get the golf cart up there. I'll get you up there. <laughs> I can make this shot. John, no, you just you're just hitting the Great golf balls shot. into the forest. We need those, we only have so many in the car! 
I'll show you what we got left in the car. <laughs> John, no! Nice shot! <laughs> nice. Why is it saying nice shot? The game already has calculated that the shot is gonna go out of fucking bounds. That's just fucking sarcasm at that point. Like, the game works out from the moment I strike the ball where it's going to land. Like, it's all just cinema and flair up until that point. Why would you say that? What a nice shot, you idiot! <laughs> oh my god, I made it! And all it took was eight shots. Still in the rough, but we're getting closer. <laughs> we're getting closer. We can get it on the next one. Shot 11. We're getting closer. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Why did I even make that sound? Okay. We, we're getting there. We can get it on the next one. <laughs> okay. Okay, John. You're doing great on the foot field today. You just, just tap it in now, and you can got, get it, and all the sponsors still remain intact, John. We're all gonna, I like, think you did great on the course. I gotta tap it so lightly. I gotta tap it. I gotta tap it. It's not registered, I'm just trying to bop it in. I'm just... Just try... Just blow on the ball! Just blow on the ball! Blow on the... <laughs> it wouldn't register and I kept trying to get it. <sighs> that's it. Okay, that's it. Birdie chance. Check the terrain. As if I know what the f how the fuck to incorporate this in my shot. I thought, for some reason, I thought the downhill bit was the uphill. Good got car. Her. Is there like a Tazbot plays Wii Sports where they just get it like a hole in one every time? I'm actually curious. Yes, there is. I'm gonna have to watch that later. I really want to see that. Okay. John, no, you can't make that shot! It's not physically possible! I'll show you physically possible! Oh god, he actually made it! <laughs> I 
actually work. Yeah, thanks for 500 bits. It's someone named John. I can accurately say your character is my name. Act out the way all Johns wish to act like. Oh no. I'm so bad at putting. On the green. Birdie chance. Come on. It's infuriating. Okay, John. Remember, now you just need to do your best this time, John, okay? Don't overthink it. Come on, John, we all believe in you. Please, for the love of God, make the shot, John. Good part. Oh, thank God. That was easy. <laughs> You've grown. The character development. I'll show you my best. That's like odd, oddly encouraging for this like really aggressive angry man. Okay, John, just try your best in this next shot. I'll show you my best. <laughs> yes, that's that's really what we wanted, John. That's the kind of positivity we need. You're doing great. If you could just keep it up and try aim for the hole. I'll show you keeping it up. On the green. Oddly encouraging. It's, it's working. Oh my god, it's working. Good you got a birdie, John! You got a birdie! You did something! What do you mean I did something? I always do something! Of course you're right, John. You're the best. I know I am! <laughs> John, no! There's a forest in the way! You can't make the shot, John! There's no way! <laughs> I'll show you no way! Oh, there's gotta be a way to make it. Oh, we're close. I need to not overswing it. Like, left or right. Yeah, so just don't do that. <gasps> I mean... I don't know how good it was, but we got through the forest. <laughs> oh, that was a sad little lob. Oh, that's not a putter! Ow! Come on. Shot eight. Oh. I'll show you shot eight. What does that even mean? <laughs> I'll show you a putter! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> He's just so aggressive, like, no matter what he says. Take a stance and press B. I'll show you a stance! <laughs> Plus six. I need to flick on a light, it's getting dark. Yeah. I'll show you a light! <laughs> 
It's like the worst line. <laughs> I hate him. Okay, let's just get a hole in one here. There was a moment there where you thought I was going to do it. That's it! Now watch me fuck this up like three times in a row. Island one. Who even makes a golf course like this? Like, does it does not? It's not even accept. The islands aren't even accessible. It's sheer cliff face. Who would build the golf course out here? It's like, oh my god! Like, it was an earthquake. Parts of the golf course sunk into the ocean. John. <laughs> I'll show you, suck it to the ocean! <laughs> great shot! Okay, great shot. It's actually pretty good. Wasn't sarcastic that time. The wind is against us. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> no. See, why would it even line me up here with this putter? Like, I physically can't make it with that one. I have to use at least a driver to make it. <laughs> that was a pretty sad shot. Wind. A shot nine. I'll show you a sad shot. Oh God! Like, what movie is it? There, there is some movie out there where, like, that's someone's like kind of witty line before they like take revenge on someone. What film is it? It has to be out there. It's Homer Simpson. <laughs> it's your biography. John Golf Bio. <laughs> Oh, plus six. So, what do we say for every one above zero? That's a shot in the bar for John Golf. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I think this is the last time we're ever gonna see him. <laughs> At least his caddy's safe. Oh, margaritas. <laughs> oh no. Well, our level rose dramatically for that game. Jesus Christ. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Oh God. Um. Let's play, let's play something different. Where do we feel like going? Had a nice long session of golf. Uh, should we do some cycling? Cycling's always fun. 
do a road race. For me, this is just like nostalgic Wii Sports Day. I'm happy to just kind of do a bit of everything and just play with yes. Okay, he's ready. We do a one-stage race. A wobbly bridge sounds real fucking dangerous. Let's try it. There's our boy. God, that's a long patch. Alright, we'll be fine. Wobbly Bridge. We start dead last for some reason. Wait, what are the controls again? Just, oh, just shake them. Just, just shake them. How you doing, Jesse? <laughs> just knock him off like the track real quick. Hang on, I want that. Like, do you have like a lead pipe you could just stick in the tire? The amount of people we would have knocked off their bikes at this point. God, I'm rusty. <laughs> it's a battle. There we go. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> if you see, if you're in like a car, like driving through Dublin City, and you see me cycle like this, like you just want to stop the vehicle, because like I'm gonna like probably get myself killed, like by crashing into you. It seems like inevitable. Oh God, here's the bridge. This is so dangerous. Help me not to overdo it, since I can do it. Nearly there. There's only a few people left. Alright. Fall off the mountain. Oh god, no, we didn't do well at all. <laughs> That's no good. Nice. We didn't, do, we didn't do well at all. 40 points. We can change the race. Jack by cousin of John Golf. No. No, he doesn't need more family. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. How do you do Forza and then do this? I do variety content. Some days I'm barreling through the hills in like an Aston Martin DB5. Other days it's just it's just a bike. God, it's like a mole on the track. Okay. Am I cheating technically if I do that? I, don't, I might be. Like, all these guys are like so uniform in like their organization and their line. 
and I'm just like fucking barreling behind them. <laughs> this fucking jump seems dangerous. I want to see that in the Tour of the France. Like, here's the off road section. It's literally like a ramp they have to pass. Why is it so windy on the beach? God, he's having trouble here. This game, you can play it like sitting down in a chair, too. Which I'm gonna do now. <laughs> oh, we unlocked, we unlocked some new ones. Number one, Victory Royale. I'd love to see just more of these games made in like Battle Royale formats. Just like have like Wii Sports Cycling, but like there's a line behind you. That keeps accelerating and trying to catch up with you, and if you fall behind it, you die. Last person standing wins. It just keeps getting faster and faster. Just three stage race. This is a long boy. That's just around the entire island, okay. That's only stage one? Oh my god. Current rank is 50. Oh, I think you have to try and get first over, like, the stages. Trying to get that little puff of boost. We're gonna be cycling a while here. Watch out for the strong crosswinds you get out of the tunnel, okay? Guys, oh, remind me, like, please pedal the bike. that one Mario Kart track? I believe so, yeah. This was in the Wii. It might be coming back as DLC now to Mario Kart 8, which I'm actually really excited for. Missed a shortcut. <laughs> I think the road's having a bad day there, too. <laughs> I love that ramp. Okay, if it's three stages, then like, in theory, I just need to get like... But even if I get like 20 places up here, that's pretty good. Fall off the edge? I don't know. I don't think I want to find out. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's getting shaky. Let's see 
how many you could overtake here. <laughs> I just crashed into him at the end. He would have been taken off the track. I mean, that's Excellent. pretty good for just the first stage. We're halfway up now. We still have two more. Yeah, thank you for a thousand bits. You want to say I've been absolutely loving the stream, and even though John Golf terrified me. <laughs> thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Okay, stage two. Where are we going? God almighty. I think this is the one we just did. Just gotta beat them all together. They all get to start so far ahead. Uh, I don't need the brakes. You can't tell me what to do, Vincent. Vincenzo. Drift King needs no brakes. I've actually started like practicing with the brakes in Mario Kart lately. Which I like literally never used before. I've been trying to like get better at 200 cc for the uh, Drift King Championships. So on like proper training form. Halfway there. There are brakes in Mario Kart, I know. Oh god, here's the wind. <laughs> it's like a fucking hurricane just kicks off when you get to the beach. It gets kind of bad here. There wasn't much time to catch up with anyone here. There's a, there's a bit of a chance here. We gotta go for it. She's tired. Overtake her. I think that's as well as that could have gone. A bit closer. Yeah, this is the final stretch. This is the bridge one again, isn't it? Yeah. You can prove that I'm better at shaking the Wii remote up and down. Going. As much speed as we can. I can already see him. Are we sure this isn't Mario Kart? There is like a Mario Kart track based on this island, which is cool. It was like one of like the first like crossover tracks that they had in like a Mario Kart game. And it's for good old Wii Sports Resort. And here they are. Oh god, he's not looking too good. Okay, get the windbreak. Okay, get the windbreak. Thank you. The fucking camera. I'm going! I'm going! Stop whistling at me! 
doesn't like me doing this. <laughs> I feel like one of us would have fallen off the bridge at this point. Like, Lucia would just be down at the bottom of the valley at this point. Just smacked into each other. Okay, there's the last four. We gotta go for it. Get a bit of stamina. Charge. Oh, we're forcing cat. I can't do it. Balance nice. has been maintained. Well, at least we got more cycling right. Nice. You didn't win. You did it. Oh, God. Play a nice round of table tennis. The return challenge. Focus only on returning the ball. Clear your mind and let your arm do the work. Ooh. Let's try it. Play one round of table tennis. We're just gonna make it a real long one. Okay. Full concentration is needed. Try hit him in the face with every ball if possible. Oh, I gotta try to get the can. That's not his face, though. Can I get the can? He's just like left his drink there. <laughs> you mind if I just put this on the table? Yeah, sure. Just work away. I'm never gonna touch it. <laughs> I can't. Oh! Oh, that's all it does. Like, dude, you keep knocking my drink over. balls has he taken to the face? I feel like I'm getting them a lot. <laughs> I just want to practice my serve. Like, you're not supposed to return it. <laughs> just keep smacking him. <laughs> Pretty good for a first run. Congratulations! Table tennis return challenge. I want that. Do it once more. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I always thought hitting the space increased the difficulty faster. I mean, it makes sense. I'd be pissed too. It's like, like, please, we're just trying to practice. I actually used to play a lot of table tennis uh, back in high school. Because when we had our PE class, um, we had like options for some of the games we could play. And the other ones were like, do you want to just like 
Run laps of the pitch, play football, or table tennis. I believe were the ones we could pick between. And I did not want to play football. I did not just want to kind of run forever because that sounded like torture. Um, so I just went for table tennis most of the time. And it was great, because like just for like an hour and a half each week, I just play some ping pong. It was far more entertaining than anything else. Practice in those backhands. Oh, he's putting, like, some sick spin on them now. Uh. <laughs> it's like the jump rope challenge to get 100 points. That's what we played back in the day. Do it again. He's gonna be in debt for drinks and medical bills. I'm just trying to have a good holiday, man. Everyone else just watching is like, that man has been taking a ball to his face for the last 20 minutes. But they're kind of just in awe at this point. I don't know if they should like call hotel security or anything. To that, stay on. You know, we could just start reusing some of the balls at this point. He doesn't need a new one every time. This is like an industrial sized crate. These ones are tainted after you hit them. Oh, I the crowd chat is distracting me. It's a great turn your brain off game. I gotta stop talking now. <laughs> That's my cue for my brain just shutting down. I'm only focus on the ball. idea how I'm doing. I can't look away. Every part <laughs> Keep going. Any balls do you have? Fair play to him for continually getting drinks. gone too far now that I kind of want to stop, but I also can't. Oh, thank God. Oh. 
Because it was getting to be too many. <laughs> My hand's getting tired. Oh. Pretty good. Yeah, here's 200 points. It's a new record! Dino, thank you for the five bits. Excellent! Up. Okay, that's enough table tennis for now, or like my wrist is gonna like give way. <laughs> I have to leave that one there. Uh, we'll do some air sports. Uh, let's do a nice, relaxing dog fight. Oh. Just go fly in the plane a while. I used to think this was like the adventure mode back in the day. It kind of feels like because you just explore the island in a plane. Try to get as many as you can in five minutes. You can also just leave the island. Here's like the golf one. Oh wait, no, that stalls you. Quite a chill one. And Pilot Wings Resort came out and said we can make it better. <laughs> Just unlock everything around here. Oh, the bowling alley's like in the town too. It, has a, it makes sense. Just didn't think about it. I'm sad that like in the new one it's not the island. I love this little village. It's like Sport Co Hub or something new. I don't really know what. Oh, you have to hit the point? Oh, hey, okay. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Can the plane still function like this? Can the controls there? <laughs> Excuse me, friends. I just need the bubble above your game. Plane is powered by a lawnmower. It sure sounds it. There we go. Okay, should we just fly away to the golf island that's just over here? I remember it as being like one of the biggest secrets back in the day. It's like, holy shit, you can leave the island? It takes so long to do. Can speed it up by thrusting the remote forward. But you have to keep doing it. Come on, plane. Oh, there's a whale out here. Let's get a closer look. Friend. Oh, I think we spooked him. It's Charlie the Dolphin out here, too. Potentially. Those look like the Scottish coastlands here. Okay, that took like a solid minute just to get over here. Thrust in the Wiimote forward as well. Here's the secret island. See, it's the golf course. This is 
John Golf's Manor. Might I have a bite to eat in the cafe after a round of golf? It's so cute. There's a me playing golf! Let's go in for a closer look. How's it going, friends? The guy just watched the plane in horror. There's nothing they can do. I'll show you a play. Oh no. Let's get a closer look here. I'm pretty sure he got caught by the turbine there. Like a me was just shredded. Lightly graze the boat. Set her down gently. New record. Come on with the star. You did it! You can now pop balloons. Kind of like a fart noise. Excellent! Island flyover. So you get a stamp specific, like, change time of day is a big selling point for this one. But you still have to unlock it. <laughs> Can't do it yet. Haven't got that far. Okay, let's play a little basketball. Oh, can we play like a three on three game? This is like an actual game of basketball. And... Let's give this a go. Oh god, we got a little gang. Enemies back here too. We got our team. Press A or direction badge to pass the ball and start the game. Pass it. There you go. Move the Wii remote as if you were dribbling the ball and push the defenders back. There's an opening, you can cut past them and get right up beneath the basket. Press B when you're ready to shoot. That would just fall flat in their face. Oh, no, you gotta actually dunk it. Okay. Click the Wii remote to try steal the ball, just don't miss. <laughs> okay, my character is on the ground now. I don't think we can block them from here. <laughs> that must have hurt. <laughs> she headbutt the ball there. Oh no. You're so poor on your feet that you completely fall. Are they even gonna take the shot? <laughs> That's gotta hurt. He's just being smacked in the face. Okay, swinging the head, we wrote over your head to jump. Throw the ball before you hit the ground. Two points! There we go. God, she's got a delayed reaction time. Get him! Why did he pass it back? Music. 
music's so cute. <laughs> oh no. Like, he had a clear shot. Keep passing it. <laughs> okay, no, they do actually take into account position. Let's grab it back. <laughs> Slam dunk. An attempt was made. fell in her face. <laughs> I won't die is taking so many balls to the face of this boy, he's not even flinching. <laughs> Drain it. He got a bit excited. No. The origin story for how I want to die got his face. Slam dunk. These games are cute. I mean, I I'm sad that these aren't coming back in the new one, but like they're not as well developed as some of the other things. I think it's kind of clear. It doesn't work as well mechanically. <laughs> Just, I appreciate all the cute extras they have in this game, though. Like, the main ones are, like, tennis, bowling, and golf. Sword one is really cool to be seen making a comeback. The fact they weren't well developed is what made them fun. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, what one do we, like, I think, like, the main one a lot of people will miss from the new one coming. Probably boxing. I think that's the one that's kind of, like, you're going to feel that it's not there. Like, even baseball, I think people will be okay without that one. Two points. Wait, no boxing. Yeah, there's no boxing in the new one that's coming. Like, it's gone. Like, we do- we do get the sword fighting one, which is cool. And it kind of, like, takes its spot. But it would be nice if we still had it. Archery was a good one, too. Yeah, archery would have been nice if they brought back. That was a different one. Oh, back. Sheer power of enemy. No baseball would suck. I mean, I, I think baseball was like one of the not so good ones myself. I think that's like the weakest one even in the original game. But hey, the fact that it's coming out on Switch, the ex most exciting thing about it is the potential just for DLC and shit like that. We might get some more mini games. And I know golf is coming in an update, but we could get boxing and baseball back. Could get archery. That would make it pretty good if we got all those. Baseball was just boring. Yeah, I, I just didn't think it was as good as some of the other ones. It was cooler. Sword fighting's my favorite. Yeah, okay. Speaking of archery, let's give it a go. Get an uncheck. Oh, we gotta calibrate it. There you go. Expert level. Toughest form of archery. How do I pull back the bow again? <laughs> A 
Okay, I mean, I got it. I, I figured it out. Bye. I'm hitting the target. Six. Hang on, I did that wrong. Oh, I thought the wind would carry it more. <laughs> oh my god. Are there being like secrets or something? There's like something else you can shoot in these levels. It's like a balloon. The fruit. Yeah, where, where is the fruit? Where is it? But not on every level. Okay. Just get a clean shot off here. Two. Target annihilate it. Six. <laughs> One. It's just barely off. <laughs> Archery in some ancient ruins now. They're on every level, are they? Where's the fruit? Oh, I see it! Yeah, there's a watermelon. Oh no, I didn't mean to let go. Get that? I don't know if that's a real background. I think that's a JPEG. You can hit it. You have to aim a lot higher. Oh, let's play archery inside a volcano now. Is there a piece of fruit in here? the fruit. On your right. That's that's not the fruit there. That's like a little arrow. It's a clock in the lava. Wait, where's the clock? the right side. There? Oh, there is something there, I think. I'm making the exact same mistake. Oh! Okay, it's real! I think we can get it. I, I can't remember what that does. This is like the fruit run now for archery. We're not even aiming for the target. It's over there. There's no way I'm making that. There's no way. <laughs> I was close. RT must learn what gravity is. <laughs> I'm trying. I think I saw it that time. Oh, 
Oh, it only gives you that camera view if you're close to finding it, doesn't it? God, I really suck with the old gravity. Oh, come on! Unbelievable! I got it! <laughs> so you can just shoot the watermelon three times. <laughs> oh, that's, that's definitely not it. <laughs> gotta get the clock. That's touching it. <laughs> Come on! That was behind it! That was behind it! <laughs> oh, we got 10 points that time. <laughs> Level has gone down. Because he was so disappointed in Archer. I'm not even against anyone. Move left like an inch. Where's the one in this one? It's that, isn't it? It has to be. Maybe it'll come back down and get it. <laughs> Maybe. God, there's gonna be someone in the village who's just gonna be about to be struck. <laughs> that could really hurt someone. Unbelievable. Ten. Okay, got it. I can only get them once, though. That is the rule. <laughs> it does the zoom in as if, like, you're gonna get it. Like, that one I thought was more accurate, and it's like, nope. I missed it. some electrical damage. Wakeboard and do some frisbee. Power cruising's a bit rubbish. Canoeing is like a really just broken one. Let's do some wakeboard. As features, a 
very special friend we haven't seen in quite some time on this channel. There you go. Looks great. Right on. Nice. I've missed this positive man. He hasn't missed me, apparently. Right on! Nice! It looks great! You just got constant words of encouragement. Nice jump! There it is! I feel like nothing's impossible. Right here! While he's here. Amazing! Excellent! Until he's not. Looks great! It does just kind of leave you after a while. Nice. Right on. Nice. No. Right on. Nice air guy. Last time we saw him, the world was a seemed a lot calmer. Nice to get his words of his own. Nice! Yeah. Looks great! Nice! It's okay job. if you don't get perfect scores, RT. Blood right is tough! <laughs> there it is! One second. <laughs> it's got a bit more of a menace than air now. Add this guy to like Dark Souls games. <laughs> it's got such a medicine air. Oh, it's quiet. Okay, hang on. Let's get it again. Sports Resort is the Dark Souls of Wii Sports games. Oh no! God, he doesn't want to stay on. He doesn't want. I want Dice just being dragged behind this boat right now. <laughs> like I'm trying to break free. Please! I don't even know the people in this boat! You have to let me go! I have a family! I need to see them again! Why do you put me through this torture?! There's nowhere to run. Oh, he did a trick there. This would be so dangerous to do. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> wow! 
Uh, he's doing it. Not anymore. This is just no. This is just stupid. <laughs> There's not even like a joke there. <laughs> it's the funny music. Like, I don't know, like, what would be the equiv- like, here's like an equivalent of it, okay? Like, it just- it's just not appropriate. Like, you, you gotta time these things. Frisbee dog. Have you seen Sifu? And will you be playing it? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh. I was gonna I was about to play like like country roads or something like that, but just me playing disc golf, but like there's not even a joke there. <laughs> like that's the thing. You gotta time this stuff. You gotta wait for the right moment or it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have put it on there. You don't. It's like, play the funny music, Daniel. Make comedy. I, ju I just want to play fetch with my dog. Don't swing too hard. There you go. He's just gonna have fun. It's so cute. We need more me dogs. I love how you have to get the, the, the frisbee back from him as well. I feel so engaged. I protect this cute animal with my life. Go for it. Excellent! Mid-air catch. Now it's too loud? I put it back to what it was. Uh, I'll lower it a bit more. There we go. Apparently, I'm surprisingly good at this. Right on target. I don't think I am, but I'm doing well here. He's a good boy. Oh no! <laughs> he couldn't even catch it. Balloon game. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I tried to get the balloon. Okay, come on. It's literally right in front of you. <laughs> you gotta work with me, disc. There we go. He went for the blimp. <laughs> Take it out of the sky. Gotta remove the Wii logo. I thought that was gonna hit it. John Golf will take it. <laughs> Oh, I hate John Golf. <laughs> What'd you say about me? <laughs> it's a cute 
cute little game. We're gonna we're gonna play it it's again a few times. Congratulations! Play again. I just love the dog in this one. It's so like, just pure. I think mean, that's the best way to even describe some of these early Wii games. Like, they're just kind of pure and innocent, aren't they? Compared to a lot of other games that are just out there. It's like, we're not trying, like... What's the concept for your game? Like, well, you just play tennis. Or you play bowling with your friends. It's just, it's just wholesome. I know we got the John Golfs that play this, but for the most part. I'll show you, wholesome! <laughs> oh, that's not even close. Got it, boy. Loon is just getting in his way, <laughs> making it more difficult for him. You gotta go for it. Now you're just going for the people in the back. How hard can I throw it? Apparently that hard. Ava, thank you for the 5,000 bits, Jesus. Hey RT, glad to see you back, hope you're doing well. Thoughts on the recent direct? Also black 2 or white 2, settle the debate for me please. Warm hung hugs go to puppy. Uh, the, the direct was really fun. Uh, just really cool. What way did that go? Just took off. Um, what was that? Yeah. All right. Sorry there. Um, the the, the direct was really cool. There's a lot of like cool announcements, like Nintendo Switch Sports and the Mario Kart DLC of the highlight for me. Xenoblade Three on top of that. If you're a Fire Emblem fan. You got Fire Emblem. If you like grand tactical RPG strategy, I think that they announced like four of those. Uh, specifically for you. Probably not for me. There's Mario Strikers as well, yeah. I've been wanting to play Mario Strikers for ages. I've had like a copy of that game like on my desk for like a year. And I've just never had the time to like find a chance to actually crack it open. Probably do it this week. Like, I feel like we have to. Give it a go. I, I've never actually played it, so I wanted to check it out. I've had it there for ages, though. We'll do that soon. Oh, for black two or white two, um... I mean, I like the forest in white over the city in black. I think it's cooler. Whichever it takes a fancy, really. No Whimsicott's only available in black. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta get better at trolling this. Go get it, boy. Balloon game. It's su it's such a, like wonderful music when it comes out. The car. So cute.
Get a boy. I missed both. I'm supposed to curve the other way, I think. Thanks to the frisbee boy. How long is your list of games that you said you'd play this year? Uh, absolutely enormous. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing my best. Uh, at the moment, like, I I'm, I'm gonna be getting back to Bloodborne. Like, that's like my current plan. I'm just gonna do more of that soon. <laughs> what is that? Not quite right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I just want to get back to more Bloodborne. Um, I'm fully aware that Elden Ring is coming out. Uh, but I, if I'm not finished Bloodborne, I'm just simply gonna keep playing that over. Move on to Elden Ring, because we started it. And I figured there's gonna be like a million people playing Elden Ring anyway, so we're just gonna press on with it. Well, the top few, you don't get to know that. Um, but I, I do, and it's very, I'm quite excited for everything. Play more frisbee golf. Let's just chill. This is actually very relaxing. Uh, you are welcome to leave suggestions in the Discord for games for me to play. Uh, we're testing it for, at least for the time being. Uh, with, like, making it available to everyone in the Discord. You don't have to be a Twitch sub anymore to suggest to play a game. Uh, I'm trying that just to see if it works. It's a bit overwhelming at the moment just because there's a lot of suggestions. But we're going to still test it out a while. Uh, there's been a bunch of changes on the Discord in general lately and we're planning to do more stuff with it. Might do a movie night soon on it. Yeah, you can always check that suggestion box. It has a list of everything I've already played, too. Um, and there's also even specific comments as to why I probably won't play a certain game. <laughs> like, because uh, some of them come in more often than not. I know one of them is like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, I think it's kind of boring. <laughs> it's not for me. I kind of enjoy the newer ones because I think they're funnier and more engaging. I think it's like, because I, I really like uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That's a real good one. That's really engaging because there's like stuff happening all the time. Like, the Paper Mario game feels like a nerfed version of that. To me. Vitro. Chat going mad. Not an opinion. No. Oh, I mean, like, the. Like, that's- a, I mean, there's a lot of games in there. Like, there's some of them, though, I've thought about playing them, but, like, I've decided no. <laughs> but you're still welcome to suggest them. It's just a nice place to kind of hang out and chat games, too. Like, I'll tell you why I don't like a certain thing there. At the same time, I'll tell you why I might be interested in some. He's definitely not doing Undertale. <laughs> Snads. <laughs> Have you played a hat in time? Yeah, there's a video of a hat in time on the channel. This is so laid like, back. Like, I'm, I'm just, ha I'm not very good at it, but it's fun. I like this one. We're gonna stay here a little longer and just chill before we do like another game or two. Biden advice. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people just saying games that are on the list. So what I'm gonna say is instead of asking me here, go to the Discord and look for yourself. Have a look at that list. Okay? And you can see what I've played. 
And you can leave suggestions there too. Some of them I may just shut down because I know that that game's not for right me. On target. That was pretty good. But that's the place to go for suggestions. Uh, I do have a list of stuff that I am playing this year already. A lot of it is taken from that box. It is stuff that has come up repeatedly. Or like ideas people have recommended. Uh, but I do still check it and more is always added to that list. Just got involved in the Discord. That's the main thing I say. Suggestions is sub only. No, it's not. Have you been on the Discord lately? It's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not. I'm in that Discord every day. I wanted to do a Dream Team, but like the tutorial was three to four hours. A Dream Team I had fun with. Like the music for Dream Team is incredible. But like if I was to play a Mario and Luigi game, it would be Superstar Saga. Like that's the one. That's the best one. By far. Oh, he's having a bad day. <laughs> he just threw it up. Oh, what are you doing, I want die? <laughs> Concentrate before you throw. Stop fucking about. Play the game. You're making Mr. Miyamoto upset. You're playing it wrong. Nice throw. The dog is done with you. <laughs> oh, God. Dog's doing his best. Keep playing it. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I do want to play this year, though. Uh, I'm just excited for stuff to come out. Like, we're going to be doing way more Mario Kart now, apparently. <laughs> um, just because of all the DLC announcements. I'm so excited for that. Of course, we'll be playing, like, Nintendo Switch Sports whenever that releases. It's April. Play some golf when that comes out, too. It's just fun stuff. I got like a lot of nostalgic games too that I've been wanting to play for ages. Or to like make a series on. Uh, that we're gonna do. And like a lot of them, you guys are not gonna see coming. And I just want to keep it that way because it's a nice surprise. Peppa Pig saves the days on the list. Oh no. It's finally happening. I know you've been waiting a long while. Now, the only one that I'll say that is happening at some point, that's like not like one of the new release games. Like, of course we'll play Nintendo Switch Sports, of course we'll play like the Mario Kart DLC. Uh, the only one is like Phoenix Wright Part 3. Um, I will do that at some point, I just don't know when. Um, taking an old break from it, just because there's a lot, like there's been a lot coming out. And it's gonna, it, those games take a long while to play through. So we're gonna wait till like it's a bit slower release schedule until we get back to it. So, like, we will finish the trilogy at some point. Right on target! It's actually getting better. I think. Don't jinx it. Nice. How painful is it getting a capture card to work with a Wii? 
Uh, I use a Wii U, so not at all. It's just a HDMI, ain't it? Okay, one, this is the last one. I think we did better overall there. Gradually improving. Yeah, that was that was a lot better than before. Broke 500 that time. It's a new record. New record. Go one more. Last one of this for real season, then we'll try one of the other games. We might as well do everything. We're this far into it. Sure, fuck it. How often? How often do we play Wii Sports Resort? It's just like this. This game is just a classic. More people need to just kind of play it. Like this game is just a reason to like kind of bust out the old Wii or something. That doesn't sound right. But you know what I mean. <laughs> It's just cool that it's being reinvented now and coming to like a modern console. It means that a lot of people are going to be able to experience what this is. And it's nice to have more games like that. Because like, like this is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, another one uh, game that really crept up on me but I just thoroughly enjoy. I don't think you'd expect it but Clubhouse games. <laughs> on Nintendo Switch is really chill. And I hugely enjoy it. Like you wanna play like a real basic board game, like just chess or something or checkers, uh, but you don't have like the physical chess board to hand or like kinda checkerboard, here you go. Like that game to me is almost like the board game equivalent of like having a Kindle for books. Where it's just like, it's like, it's almost like a huge convenience in it. And like, if I'm just bored sometimes, I'll just be like, yeah, I'm just playing a quick game of chess. Because why not? It's a really chill time. And that would be a very casual kind of game. Like, this would be like another one. Because like, you're just, you're just throwing a frisbee. This is so chill. Basically ASMR this game with all like the dog with the dog walking on the sound and like the little sound effects. So satisfying. Uh Burger God, thank you for the ten gift subs. Thank you very much. Oh uh, I bought the mic that time. I got that wrong. Flying's good. But chess is at least fun, but not the game? What do you mean? It's garbage? Have you had like a, a bad f clubhouse games experience? Really sounds it. It's just a chill little game. I just love playing stuff like that. Like, uh, we have like a VR hangout group where it's like, a lot of the time when we hop in VR, like, I, I, our VR night would be, uh, we like, we'll meet up, we'll have a few drinks. Sometimes we go watch a movie. Sometimes we go to like, kind of like a dance world or something like that, or just like play some games like that, do some karaoke. Uh, but we almost always, the one thing we do without fail is we play chess. And it's like, there's always just a bunch of us, I like, we have like our own private world where there's just like a chess table at, well, like a chess set at it, and we love it. And we always play some. Like, it doesn't matter what we're doing, if we've been doing like karaoke, like heavy drinking or something for the night. Like, okay, time of the night, we're playing chess, and it's like, fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, 
Uh, shout out to my good friend Nano. We, we, we play a lot of chess against each other. I don't know if Kelly is here at the moment too, but she'd be part of that gang as well. Like Monty as well. I don't know how many of that crowd's here. There might be. But it, it's just really fun. It's really chill. Kelly was here. Yeah, I saw her floating about earlier. Yeah, just some of that classic games like that. Like, I don't know, you, you just switch your brain off a while. It's nice. It's not the kind of thing that you'd really think to go out of your way to play. It's like, oh, fuck yeah, you know? Right on time. Chess, but like, when it's there, it's like, oh, I don't want to play. It's fun. It's like, clubhouse games for me is just like, hey, do you want more of those games? It's a good time. That was a good catch. You switch your brain off during chess. But it's like... So... But okay, so let, let, let me explain that, because yeah, that sounds weird. Because it's like, the other game that, that I would say is I switch my brain off kind of game is Dark Souls. And I know, I know those are like weird things to like single out, but hear me out, right? Those are games where it's like you just concentrate and you get into the game so much that you don't have to think about anything else. And you kind of just exist and play the game. And like when I'm playing those games, I'm focusing so much on what I'm doing that I don't have space in my brain to think about anything else. And it's great. And like that that's what I mean by switching my brain off. Is it means like I'm not anxious. My thoughts aren't really going anywhere else. I'm just kind of vibing. And like chess is really good for that because you just I'm just thinking chess now. And I'm having a good time. Dark Souls I think is really good for it. I think part of the reason I might suffer with Bloodborne is because my brain goes a bit too autopilot playing it. And I'm like, well I can just shield here. It's like, no, you cannot. It is very different. Bloodborne stresses me a little bit playing it. As much as I do love playing it. It's a good time. It's just uh, frantic and fast, and it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die half the time. <laughs> me with Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft is that kind of game for a lot of people. How the fuck do I get you? Oh, almost. That just needs to be a bit higher. I definitely recommend it though. Like, it feels weird to say, but Dark Souls is a very like relaxing game. If you've had a very busy day or something, you want to take your mind off life. Dark Souls is almost perfect for it because, like, fuck, you're gonna have to think about the game instead. It's great for it. Same with things like chess, I think it's really relaxing. I definitely recommend it. It's the opposite of relaxing, strongly disagree. I think it's a really therapeutic game. We'll do, we'll do a bit of power cruising. I do, every time I do power cruising, it's because like, oh, I haven't tried it in a while, let's give it a go. And then I give it a go and I never play it again. It's just not as good as some of the other games. It's like just like a curious. It's just it's there. Give it a shot. Canoeing is the one that I, I know that if I go into it, I'm probably not going to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Look at him. He's all ready to go. You just press and hold A. And then you turn the Wii remote to get your boost. Yep. You pretty much got it. And then you just tilt it to turn. Cool. It's rumbling. Mm -hmm. 
wait for the little waves here to get your speed boost. Do I just do laps of it? I think I do. Yeah, like... It's fun, it's just not as fun as some of the other ones. I'd rather just be bowling. <laughs> I think in this. That's like the measure. You've made like such a good game, like, such good games already. It's like you have to almost compare them to each other. for what it is though, it's just something different. Are you able to turn down the game volume? Oh, is it loud? Yes, oh sorry. <laughs> okay, that's significantly reduced now. Play it again. Oh, the amount of points you get is what the timer left on it is. Cool. Now I get it. Oh, come on. <laughs> One of my favorite Smash Bros. stages is simply the Woohoo Island one because of this game. I love just like kind of putting it on. The Pilot Wings one too because it's just based on the island. It's just really cute. Like, I'm sad Nintendo seems to be neglecting their Miis more and more. Like, I was hoping with Miitopia that it would kind of be like a revival. Of the, the, the guys, because like they're just a cute little character. Um, but I don't know. I just don't know why they're not in the spotlight for like Nintendo Switch Sports. They absolutely should be. We need more me games. It's so fun. And, like the me's give it a lot of charm. Another Tamodachi would be great. I would love a new Tamodachi life, but like just one that kind of just adds more stuff to do, similar to like what Miitopia did. Because Tamodachi life, unfortunately, like you can only play it for like 30 minutes a day. Which is, is fine if that's the kind of game you want to make, but it's like, I'd rather have something I can sink a few hours into in a day. <laughs> I'm not, I, I prefer those kind of games. New Nintendogs would be awesome. <laughs> It would be kind of cute if they did something like that again. It seems weird how like they just seem to create these lovable franchises sometimes and then just ignore them. <laughs> For god knows how long. At least they're getting better is it's just like putting it all on the console. Because now you look at Switch, it's like here's your Mario game, here's like your Zelda game. Here's your me game. You know, for a lot of them, granted, a lot of them are just ports, basically, of older titles, but it's something. It's like, holy shit, guys, we made a new Metro. <laughs> you know? Like, people had to fight for that for a while. We're just very invested in their properties, really. These are the games we all grew up with. So I grew up with like the me, so I just want to see more stuff with them. I think they're cute. Even as my character here is I want die and he's in a lot of pain. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I'm so, I'm someone who played like the fucking Street Pass games on 3DS. I don't know if people remember those. I've always wanted to stream them, but they're just really hard to do because you need to have so many play coins. And like you, you you're supposed to play like gather me characters and then play it, but like that does not work for streaming at all. It will be really hard to do. Yeah, there's so many of them. Like, uh, there's like, like, I love the puzzle piece game. I love the quest one. I like the one where you just like plant things in a garden. It's cute. I love my old me games. And yeah, we'll do the beach too. Walk and stream when? <laughs> like, hey, I'm in Dublin and I'm playing like Street Pass. <laughs> Everyone else around me is just playing, like, Pokemon Go. And I'm just like, yeah, so if you walk past me in the city, you, I can import your character. Okay, Grandpa, let's get you back to bed. IRL GeoGuessr. I feel like there's too much risk if I just do a stream where it's like I just walk around Dublin. I feel like it's too busy a city to just to do that. <laughs> I'd be kind of anxious. Just a stream where it's like, I'm here. Come find me. Like, I don't know. Like, I'd be kind of nervous. IRL raid. Oh no. Excellent. Oh, we got, oh, we got uh, the marina. Okay, let's try the marina. Time to go hunting chat. <laughs> it's like, I'm just here, like, by Dublin Spire. It's like, yeah, come give me a puzzle piece if you have a Nintendo 3DS system. I need, like, fucking bodyguards. <laughs> like, what if, like, what if someone just comes find me and just starts swearing at me? To, like, get on the stream? <laughs> I don't know. I think people can be a bit unpredictable if you pop a camera on them all of a sudden. could just find me in the city and like start aggressively dancing at me and I wouldn't be able to do it like what do I do do I just because like, if, if I just like go on home <laughs> like that's that's gonna get me in a lot of trouble <laughs> like that won't end well <laughs> dance back at them <laughs> you call those moves Go for it. Big jump. How people will dance at you if they meet you. That's gonna be really jarring. <laughs> I don't, what do you do if someone just starts doing that? Aggressively dances towards you. I don't think I got enough points to unlock in the course. No, I didn't. Okay. Let's remind ourselves why we don't play the canoeing game. I think this is the worst one. Oh, we're not allowed to go yet. I'm ready. <laughs> Can't canoe yet. Just paddle all around the lake. Oh, you 
can collect ducks. Look at him go. He's so cute. This one is just tiring more than any other one because you have to just keep repeatedly making the motion. There you go. Let's try it. Follow the ducks. Unfortunately, even with the controls, it doesn't always register where you are. Sometimes it just doesn't want to turn. New record. It's just not as exciting as the other games. <laughs> they even kind of know, like, when you finish it, because, like, he just, like, veers off and gets stuck. <laughs> it's a new record! Like, the goal for the next challenge is 25 more meters. So you just do it again. Um, but you gotta go a little further. Why are the gunshots when you finish? Yeah, there's a gunshot when you start in this one, too. I don't think there was gunshots in the other ones. Why did I have firearms on Woohoo Island? Why would they need them? They're just me's. They seem to live in, like, a sporting paradise. Starter pistol, it's a classic. It's not a real gun, though, is it? You just get to the end here, there's a me with like a desert eagle just holding it to the sky. It's like, finish! A seagull falls to the ground. It's John Golf shooting again. I'll show you a shot! Yeah, it's like, now you do it again, but we put 15 more meters on it. Okay. Can I change the difficulty yet? Nope. That's why we don't play canoeing. <laughs> it's sad, it's just not as good as the other ones. It's not nearly as good. We still have a few other ones that we have done. We haven't done skydiving. Here he is. God, this is like when we first actually made I Won't Die. Oh, I'm getting hit. Just the, uh, like, memories of it. It's like, the like, first thing we ever did with him was we jumped out of a plane. <laughs> we were playing this. Link up with the other skydivers. Oh no, we fell too far! Join our gang. Losing them. It's 
photographer is doing his best. <laughs> Take my hand! <laughs> oh, they're gone. Don't say it to anyone, but someone's parachute is designed to not work. Use teamwork to prevent the fall. We must join together. Or they meet a grisly end. <laughs> we lost. Formation. The bird is coming for us. There's no one left. So like, let's just plummet. That would probably break your legs if you just try fall vertically. Okay, everyone, <laughs> warm up. You probably shouldn't do that. Oh, he's fallen. Let's get a picture. Welcome to back to Wii Sports. Coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Mostly. Oh, we get to see our pictures. <laughs> wait, wait, what are these pictures? Hang on. Okay, that one's really cute. I don't know what's going on there. That looks like we lost him. He let go, like, take my hand! It's too late for me, brother. <laughs> it's not a very flattering picture. <laughs> Some of these are cute. <laughs> this guy's having a bit of trouble. Can't even see me in this picture. You enjoy your dive. If you're having trouble controlling me in free fall, press minus while still in the plane to do a practice dive. It's cute. This is on the photographers, I feel. Dan, you need to turn to the camera. Oh god, because they were there! That's right! I have to, like, pay attention to where they are. Sensor bar assist has been enabled. Uh, is there any other ones? We, we've done most of them. There's like versus and cycling. Canoe and there's a versus. You can race people one on one. Frisbee has a uh, frisbee golf version. I think, we've, I think we've played enough golf. We played a lot of golf today. Do a dog fight. Do a hundred pin game. Okay, do you want me to just do one more island flyover or a hundred pin game of bowling? I'm leaning between those two. Bowling, okay. That was a trick question. We're gonna do both, but we're gonna do this first. Now everyone's happy. Dude, the secret strike, Dan. I, I can never get the secret strike. I've tried many a time. <laughs> I got one! <laughs> That in itself is quite impressive, honestly. I got a pin. Oh. 
<laughs> then I got a cutter ball. <laughs> Just the one pin for me. Here's how it's done. There we go. Nice I just chuck it at this person here. <laughs> Let's give them the fright of their life. <laughs> They actually jump. That's how you kill someone at the bowling alley. Yeah, you don't get any points for trying to murder one of the me's. Sadly. Are there like 100 pin bowling alleys anywhere in the world? Because I imagine that would be a nightmare that's just set up the lane every time. Out of that, you need some very special, specialized machinery. I don't think they're out for that exact reason. Someone else just says Ohio. <laughs> Take your word for it. I've never been to Ohio, but it seems like this magical place where anything is possible how my chat describes it. I live in Ohio and I've never seen anything like a hundred pin bowling. The other part of Ohio, surely. In the wrong neighborhood. There's a strategy here. Don't worry. This is how I would do bowling as a kid, basically. When I'd have the barriers on. <laughs> basically how it would work. Did we get them all? Nice one. Oh, it took a while. <laughs> it's a very slow motion. Because we're waiting on those last few pins. 100 pin strike. Awful split. I can get it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the action replay there. Appreciate it. The button on the rail, I'm never gonna get it. I did it once, I think. And that was in like, that was like the last time we played this for the video. I'll never get it again. Did I really get all of them by that one? There's two. <laughs> Half-assed clapping. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's do an island flyover. It's a... You did it! You did it. Now I actually want to go bowling. It's good fun, honestly. I want to try it more. Like, I, the problem is that I pl I've, like, played bowling, like, once every three years. Or something comparable to that. 
So it's like, I forget how to act like the feel of like the ball and that by the next time I play it. And then it's like, well, I have to relearn it and just even try get the ball to the end of the pin, like the lane. It'll be fun to do more often though. I, th I think we have a ball in alley or two in Dublin. I think we do. Might get a gang for it sometime. Let's do an island flyover. Hole in stream. <laughs> By the time you learn not to make a hole in the floor, seal and the round is over, and you have to pay 200 pounds to try again. Like, that's the problem, because, like, bowling's quite expensive, too. At the times I've been, it's just, like, special occasion kind of things, where it's like, yep, we're going bowling. I think it, like, it is once every three years. Like, I went bowling last year. In like about October, and in the time before that was like when I lived in Japan. That's it. Like the time before that would have been like at least 2015. <laughs> you can now pop balloons. Of course, the large balloons by flying straight into them. It's cheap in the US. I mean, that's cool. It's not cheap, like, in this part of the world, unfortunately. Costs a fair bit more. Oh, there's one on this... This boat, let's just ruin their day. Let's ruin everyone's fun. Go under the bridge. Well, I gotta go through it, I think, to get this one. Uh... Here's my stop. <laughs> These poor me's. Ruin their fun. <laughs> the plane has sustained heavy damage. Gotta get the big balloon. But why is there Morse code? Because I want that, I just frantically saying like SOS here. As he like he loses control of the vehicle. <laughs> There must be some translation for that. That was Morse code. That definitely was. It is an actual message. Does anyone know what it is? I feel like that should be in like a trivia, like like video game trivia show or something. I believe it's a message from the devs. The saddest thing about this game mode it's a five minute timer. <laughs> You'd be very dead at this point. Okay, let's go into the volcano. Time honored tradition. I looked it up, it's a conversation about how long and tedious it is to use Morse code. I mean, that's kind of cute. We're going in! <laughs> this is not safe! Huh? <laughs> now he awaits a slow death at the heart of the volcano. Yeah, just nose dive here. There we go. Oh. See, we're inside now. Just gotta get the info marker in the middle. <laughs> 
the plane at you can hear the plane fall into the lava there. <laughs> Freaking falls. Can I go in this tunnel? God, this is a It's not something you should do. <laughs> this is not Oh, there's something in here. Twisty passage, watch out! <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Uh, a romantic date ruined. <laughs> They're actually on a date. Like, come check out this quiet spot I found. You know, it's so, it's so nice. It's like a quiet, like, indoor just bit of the river. Well, there's someone else going low to the ground. You just see like a biplane coming in. It's like, look out below! This is not safe. This is not safe. Freaking havoc on these poor people. Oh god. We might not see Woohoo Island in Nintendo Switch Sports. Might not see it in like a Wii Sports game again. It'll always live on in our hearts. And our old copies of this Nintendo Wii game. Uh. Should play it more. It's a goodie. It will live on in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, soon it'll hopefully be DLC for Mario Kart. There we go. It's something, at least. Can now fly in the evening. <laughs> it's such a weird unlock. <laughs> you can change the time of day now. You can finally use this feature. Okay. Gonna leave it there. God, 2009, this game is... How? 13 years old? That's kind of scary. We're old, yeah. Ava, thank you for another thousand bits. Possible to get every location in one go and it's a speedrun category. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ah, oh, God. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the stream today. We're going to leave it there. Because um, I got to rest some more. Uh, but that was fun. That was really nostalgic. I hope you've enjoyed me playing this again. Uh, I'm just excited for Nintendo Switch Sports. Uh, we'll do Mario Strikers soon as well. I do actually want to play that see what all the hype's about, and uh, then we'll get back to Bloodborne. I want to try finish Bloodborne over the next while. It's still like the work and project game that I'm having a really good time with, but I suck at. Uh, thank you for all the well wishes, though. It's good to see everyone here. Uh, thanks for bearing with me just for content as well. Um, probably the next week, I'm just going to say that the schedule is very shaky. It's up in the air. Simply because, like, if I'm not well on the day, then I, I've got to just rest. Um, keep an eye on the Discord server for stream notices. Uh, it's the best place to check for them. And it's also been all, like, new and improved. Like, like we, we tidied it up a bit and, like, we reorganized a lot of channels. It's worth checking out if you haven't seen it in a while. There's some new channels in there, too. Uh, we got like a hub for like even the RT game wiki there because that's a project that's been ongoing People can actually work in that there, which is kind of flattering honestly to people are, like trying to chronicle all of this well, Thank you to everyone who's working there Oh, yeah, we got the Bianco Hey emote. I don't know how many people did I mention that I mentioned we had new sub emotes There is Bianco Hey for subs now There is also a God emote as a new one 
Yeah, Bianco Hay is real now. We're the only Bianco Hill streamer on this platform. It's very cute. There's one for God as well. There's more new emotes coming, and then again, we got the follower emotes now too. So even if you're not sub, you can use some of the emotes. You can use like our Pogchamp one and our, our laughing one. And then you get some anxiety in with Dread. You got Cupcake. And you have RT Game Drift King. The sole reason of which is to re remind folks that they used to call me the Drift King back in college. You can use that now on anyone's channel. And you should. It's important that people know. I hope you enjoy them. We're gonna try them out at least in the next while. Have a Bianco day. <laughs> God. Okay, thank you for coming, folks. Let me see who's streaming. I gotta leave you in someone's care. Um, let me see. Was well, Twitch having some trouble? It seems a bit weird looking. It might be having some trouble, I'm not sure. Okay, uh. We're gonna raid Radiant, just because I've checked his stream, and it's just like a penguin. I don't know what's going on, but I approve. Go say hey to Radiant. Fellow Irish lad. It's just a penguin, as far as I can see. Okay, thanks for coming, folks. Again, keep an eye on the Discord server. I'll let you know there if I'm streaming on Tuesday or not, okay? Thanks for all the well wishes, too. I really do appreciate it. Have a good night, guys.